I want to show you, you saw us put all those recessed lights in. If you look up here in the drywall ceiling, now you can see all the, the recessed lights that are up there. And they've got the bulbs in them, and they're all up inside the drywall now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our uh, white trim rings and a 65 watt bulb. And as soon as I can find the electrician, show you how to put one of those trim rings in with a 65 watt bulb. Right, so he's going to take the temporary bulb out. And there's our trim ring, or our can rather, that the drywallers cut around. Now you can adjust how high up and down your light bulb goes in these cans. There's a little wing nut up in there that you can turn and it loosens up the whole part of the, the inner part of the light where you can raise the light bulb up higher in the can. So we normally take ours up high into the cans, normally to the highest adjustment. Pest a little bit. So that the bulbs are not sticking out of the bottom of the trim ring. I like the, the whole bulb to be up inside. Alright, so here we got a trim ring, and all they are is a plastic uh, ring. There's two pieces to it. There's an outer ring, and that outer ring just slides right over top of the, the baffle, it's called, and then you can see there's two springs. Alright, so flip your springs inside, and push it up into the ceiling, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stretch the screws up there's little holes in the top of the can. You can see that up in there. Where they just hook right on. There's a hole up in there. You just stretch the string and hook it into the hole. Do that to both springs. Alright, and there's the other spring up in there stretched up into his hole. And that's all there is to it. Those springs hold the, uh, the trim ring tight to the drywall ceiling. And then all you have to do is grab a 65 watt flood bulb. You buy the frosted 65 watt bulbs and just screw that into the can. And that's it. All right, we got about 24 of them down here that we're going to be putting in all over the place. Remember us putting all those cans up. And uh, Chris will go around and put all the trim rings in and have them looking great. And uh, it only takes about two minutes a can to do to the trim rings. So. Now you know how to put the trim rings on.